Yeah, hi, good morning everyone. This is Rajesh Palve from the Technical Desk. I just take you through the Nifty as well as the USD and our technical view for the day. In the last week, Nifty opened on a flat note and remained consolidated throughout the week. Nifty moved in the range of 8700 to 87, 8600 throughout the week. Uh, on the week, week on week basis, Nifty lost around 5 points compared to the previous week and closed at 8667 level. Nifty has formed a dozy candlestick formation on the, uh, on the weekly chart, which is a sign of indecisiveness amongst the participants. If we look at the chart pattern, the Nifty is facing hurdle at around 8700, 8730 level on the higher side. So uh, looking at the chart pattern, uh, until unless Nifty not gives the breakout of these level, uh, it will remain under consolidation mode and uh, uh, we are expecting that Nifty may remain in range of 8700 to 8550. This could be the possible consolidation range we can expect in coming trading session. Once the Nifty crosses this 8730 level, then on the higher side Nifty may scale up in range of 8800-8850 level on the higher side. However, on the lower side, as I mentioned, 8600-8550 are the good support area for Nifty for any kind of corrective action. So whenever we get any kind of dip near to this uh, support area, is a buying opportunity for near-term trader. So whenever you get opportunity, one can buy around these level, uh, 8600-8550 level. And for pullback action, you can book profits at around 8700. Uh, Nifty is continuously holding 20 DMA, 50 DMA and 100 day moving average on the closing basis, which is a sign of positivity on the short to medium term basis. Indicators are also uh, in the positive territory, suggesting that uh, whenever we uh, get any kind of dip in the market, we'll get support at lower level and buying will remain continue in the market. For the week, we are expecting 8800 on the higher side and lower side 8500. This could be the possible uh, uh, weekly range for uh, this week. As we are entering into expiry week, so we might see volatility on the both side for the Nifty. And now for the day, 8670 is the important level to watch for. If Nifty crosses this level, then on the higher side, it can move for level of 8695, 8720 level. If Nifty not hold the 8670 level, then lower side support would come at around 8645-8620 level. Moving to the stocks front, some positive bias stocks for the day are Torrent Pharma, uh, Voltage, Engineers India, Federal Bank, Ambuja Cement and Cell. And negative bias stocks for the day are Star, Container Corp, TCS and Lupin. Now moving to the USDNR view. In the last trading session, we have seen that USDNR gained around 0.34% compared to the previous trading session and closed at 67.13 level. USDNR has given the breakout of last 4 days consolidation mode uh, and it has given the breakout of its consolidation range of 66.80 to 67 level. So now USDNR is trading above 67 level. So uh, uh, it has turned positive on the near term chart. Even if you look at the indicators also, uh, indicators are also turned bullish on the near term chart. So it is suggesting that if USDNR continues to cross this 67.15 level, then positivity to remain continue in the USDNR. And on the higher side, 67.25, 67.35 level can be seen in near term basis. So however, uh, uh, for any kind of minor corrective action around 67.05 is a buying opportunity for near term trader. And broadly, we are expecting that on the higher side, 67.40 could act as a major hurdle for uh, this up move. And on the higher side, 60, on the lower side, 66.80 uh, would act as a support area for any kind of corrective action for near term to short term basis. Thank you.